After months of hard work, our four-way is here. Our inspector is about 20 minutes away. It's happening. And although we've double and triple checked everything. Five minutes before you're supposed to get the inspection. Guess what? You forgot something. But we're not letting this opportunity pass us by. We have an issue here. Even if it does feel like our pressure tests are cursed. No, I'm flowing. Oh, hold on. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Come along today and don't forget to subscribe as we do whatever it takes. But we gotta replace that valve anyways. All right, don't let the inspector see this. <laughs> to get through our inspection. It doesn't quite need code. And come out smiling on the other side. Needless to say, we're not gonna pass. <laughs>
What are you doing there, bud? How you doing, bud? Are you healthy? <laughs> I never felt this lonely, Ooh. but I'm trying not to show. It was like tripped. I think they come tripped. So that you don't accidentally you don't plug it in and shoot electricity yeah, through the probably. wires, probably. Hmm. In case something's like touching, it doesn't go. Still, I'm giving all I got. I just want to tell you something. Hi. Must have been something I forgot. Not hot. Feels hot to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the heat is off, our gloves are all off, it feels nice and toasty in here. It's never enough, so please slow down. I'm just trying to find my way back to you. Another thing that I had on here that I was pretty sure wasn't going to pass is ooh, ooh. on the top of this electrical box, which is for our welder and plasma cutter, mm -hmm. and on the bottom of the panel, that wire needs to have some type of pull-out prevention. All these small wires have these little plastic clips that the wire can get pushed through, but it can't get pulled back out. And you have to have that on both of those boxes so that if something happens, it doesn't yank the breaker out and like mm. cause a bunch of issues. Okay. So we've got to put this little clamp device on here and on there, which means I got to take this outlet box off and uh, probably disconnect the two wires off the breaker and pull that whole thing out, put those clamps on there, reinstall it. And then I think our panel will actually pass inspection. <laughs> That's very heartening. <laughs> very exciting. Can you wave? Hi, Leo. What are you doing? Hi, bud. <laughs> what are you doing down there? Are you with the dogs? <laughs> oh, Frank. We got all of the breakers put into the panel. We got all of the knockouts knocked out. Everything is tied down, clamped, stapled. Everything is correct. I think everything is done. I put the panel cover back up on there just because this is a live panel and you don't want any accidents happening. When the inspector shows up, I'll pull that off so he can look inside and everything should be good to go. Now we've got to do what nobody wants to do and that is head over here into the igloo, start cutting boards and start nailing in blocks. Not excited. It's a little dark in here because we took the uh, light out. I'm going to grab the ladder here, but we got all of our seams blocked off except for the ones that have the pipes in them. I'm going to see what the inspector has to say about that. But this room is done and ready for four-way. I really wish we had a concrete floor and our wall <laughs> to go around the bathroom so it could actually be ready, but it's as ready as it's going to be. Now we got to head over to the garage with the TRX and uh, block all of the studs in there on the seams of the sheathing, and then we'll be ready for tomorrow. I mean, I thought we were ready for four-way, but there's always like a little bit more we could be doing. I mean, there's just things that I kind of like expect him to call, and that's where these things falls. It's like I expect him to like put these things on a punch list mm -hmm. and be like, once you do these things, you can have a pass. Uh -huh. It's just me being lazy, <laughs> unfortunately. So here's a reminder to look at life that's pouring into you. So my friend, let me tell you once again, and you know that it's true. While those guys are finishing up the blocking, we are inside having a snack. You having a yummy snack? Yeah, you are. And I think I'm gonna use this time while Leo is preoccupied in his high chair to clean. I don't know if you can tell, it's a mess in here. It's crazy, I clean every day, every single day. I do laundry almost every single day. And I think it's just like mom life. I think it's just what happens. It takes 0.5 seconds for it to become a mess in here. I don't know if you can see any of that. House does not normally look like that, I promise. Um, so I'm gonna clean this up, even though I fully expect it to go back to this situation as soon as Leo's back on the ground. Um, but I've also come to realize that that's life. And life is just sometimes about like maintaining, not always having it be absolutely perfect, but doing what you can, when you can, and being okay with that. <laughs> Oh, 
play. Is that fun? Yeah. Oh, squeeze. Squeeze. <laughs> Are you cleaning? Thank you. You're doing so good. Is that what mama does? Okay, another mess. Another mess. Yeah, that's fun, huh? <sighs> Much better. Are you putting on your boots to go outside? It honestly makes such a difference in my brain to have a clean house. So whenever I get a chance, I try to just like declutter and organize just a little bit, even if it's just a couple minutes once in a while. It's better than nothing. And while we were inside cleaning and having that little snack, Trent and Brandon actually finished, right? All the, blocking. All the blocking, cool. So blocking's done, electrical panel's done. I think we're actually ready for four-way. And I <laughs> talked to the inspector and I said, hey, if you try to come up in the morning, the roads will be frozen. It'll be really grippy. I think you'll have a lot better time than trying to get up. If you come up in the afternoon, it's gonna be slushy and melted. And he said, okay, I will try to get up there in the morning then. Uh, uh, so we're hoping he shows up early uh, in the morning and we can uh, get this four-way uh, underway. Is that right? Uh, uh. Where are you going? Uh, See you later. Is Raynaud genetic? I don't know. I didn't develop Raynaud's till I was like 15 years old. So um, has and no one else in my family has it, but it is uh, something like an autoimmune issue that is more likely in women than in men. But I don't know if it's genetic or not. If you guys know, I'd love to know. Either way, that's how warm it is out today. He doesn't even need gloves on. Nice and warm. Until he starts playing with the snow. <laughs> Well, Brandon, fingers crossed for the morning. We'll see you bright and early. I'll cross my toes too tonight. Awesome, perfect. <laughs> yeah, do the four-way dance. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, sounds All good. Right, Drive safe. Thank you. Bye. Bye. It feels like spring out there because the sun is out, but we've got plenty more winter ahead of us. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow, we've got our four-way. I'm really excited for the four-way. I think we got a good chance of getting some partial pass. We know we can't fully pass because of some things that we can't do right now until like actual snow melt, but we've got our fingers crossed. I was on a plane to California. I had all the time I'd ever need. Did you even know it's looking for you? I think that what I was you in all right, we just got a note. Our inspector is about 20 minutes away. It's happening. It's not snowing. It's a clear, crisp, calm morning. Whew, nerves are high. I don't know if any of you remember our last four-way inspection. It was not good. <laughs> One problem that I've realized is that Dean actually plumbed the condensation drain from the furnace down into our drain system, and he did it right below one of our test plugs. So now I was thinking about this this morning and I was like, oh my gosh, we have to fill the drain system with water to show that it's not leaking and I don't have a way to plug that little PVC line that he put on there. So I'm gonna see if I can use like a, a wine cork or like some tape and a hose clamp or like a rubber cap of some type. I don't really know. All I know is we've gotta get this thing capped and we've gotta do it quickly. Uh, the inspector's gonna be here in about 10 or 15 minutes. Brandon's about five minutes behind him. So I'm gonna head out and see what I can get figured out. All right, go on dogs. Oh. It's always like, you think you have everything ready and you're like in the perfect position for an inspection or something like this. And then, oh, oh, oh. dang it, our kitty litter is great, but once this, the ice starts to melt a little bit and then the kitty litter sinks and then it freezes again, it just becomes extremely slippery and very, very smooth. I'm gonna have to put down more kitty litter before the inspector gets here. But it's like, you think you have everything ready and you think that like you've covered all your bases and then five minutes before you're supposed to get the inspection, guess what, you forgot something. Well, 
I guess let's go downstairs and turn the water on and see if our water system's leaking. That's also something we haven't done is checked the water, see if it has any issues. We got our shower valve installed, but we were kind of concerned about doing any water because we didn't want to have to drain the lines and we didn't want anything freezing and breaking. The dogs are barking, so I assume the inspector's here. Oh, the inspector's here. Run downstairs. Okay, got the water turned on. It goes out to the garage. Hopefully that water's not frozen. That would be terrible. How's it going? Oh, it's not too bad. How about yourselves? Pretty good. The roads weren't too bad. No, they were a lot better. Okay, and all your outlets on this level are going to be GFCI protected? I'm going to do GFCI breakers, yeah. Okay. The biggest thing holding me up is that both of these garage additions on either side, it snowed before we could get the foundations poured. So like in this one, can't install that door until I have like a concrete floor to put the door on. And then in this one, I can't put the garage door on. So I'm like kind of stuck. Yeah. Christmas story with that jacket on. <laughs> okay, so far everything is going pretty well. They're upstairs walking around the apartment, just looking through all the little details, making sure everything looks good. It's very nerve wracking. <laughs> Is it on in the house? <clears throat> yeah. You sure? Yeah, it's open. Yeah, it didn't seem like it did anything though. Ready? Yep. No, I'm slowing. Oops. Hold on. Turn, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. fit on there. This froze and split. <sighs> so we can't pressurize the water system until that's sealed. So we make a valve and shut it off. <clears throat> it's half inch. I don't think we have any half inch threadable anything. Open or that to that It'll never with a valve. Off. I know. We'd have to cut it off. But we got to replace that valve anyways. Mm. All right. Don't let the inspector see this. <laughs> oh, it's, it's probably going to work. Nice thinking. I mean, really sometimes you got to get creative. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, the reality is we might be able to thread it off. Oh, that's true. But I don't know if that's actually gonna hold hold water because there's no circular ring. It's all yeah spiral. You know? Oh, it just fell off. No. All right, we got some real <laughs> Jimmy rigs. <laughs> Line over here to see if there's a little water. You think it's good? I mean, if it's not, it's gonna completely spray me right here. So, okay. we'll see. Uh, go ahead. Careful. Well, something's happening. I hear it. Might be getting a shower here somewhere else. <laughs> Our line over here is holding. 
Oh, I hear something over there. Hear what? Is that just air? It's just air. I have PTSD from this part. We need a half inch brass cap for that. Okay. So we just don't really have a good time with uh, plumbing. When we uh, did the four way for our house, mm -hmm. we had a floor drain and we put like a test plug in the floor drain and then we filled the system with water. The test plug that was connected to the pump, the pump had like a pinhole leak in it. So while the system's completely full of water, that plug popped out of the floor drain and all of the water just filled our entire house. And like on the main floor it happened, so it flooded through all of our ducting and everything into the basement. Like it was an absolute disaster. So this isn't that bad, but obviously it's not gonna Hard for the it's not gonna hold. Yeah, we're gonna have to redo some of that. Four ways are fun. So that's a cat for sure. I thought they were bunny tracks because it looks like the back feet wow. are together, but those are the front feet. Doesn't quite meet code. And that puts me in a precarious situation because the layouts change. Well, needless to say, we're not gonna pass <laughs> our four-way today. We're making a large punch list of things we're gonna be working on for the next week or two. And then I'll, I'll put in my report, I'll kind of detail it and answer some of the questions that you had. And then if you have any more questions that I didn't address, feel free to text me or call me. I'll figure out an answer. Will you be the inspector for the whole job? I may or may not be. Good to see you. Appreciate it. Don't look like a truck for you. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Too. All right. I mean, it could have been better. It could have been worse. We have no choice but to be happy with it. Let's put it that way. We failed, but obviously we knew this was coming and it's not really like a fail. It's just like a, you have to do these things to pass, but there was a handful of things that did not pass the inspection. Um, some things that we did wrong. Also, there's like one architect and structural engineer designed the main part of the garage. Another one designed our additions and then a truss manufacturer designed the truss layout. Pretty much all three of those departments have to jive together and like make sense. And right now there's some holes between those three sets of plans. And that's a little frustrating. So we're gonna have to contact our new structural engineer and architect, have them redesign some stuff that we did and have plans that show that what we did is okay. <sighs> a little frustrating, but all in all, we got checked off on a lot of stuff and we are okay to start insulating the lower walls. Huh. Not the upstairs. Okay. But maybe we can like put plastic on the bottom side of the rafters and then insulate the lower walls and we'll actually be able to heat this space without it being freezing. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Or wasting all of our propane. Who knows? But the good news is we got some stuff passed off. How's the list? It's pretty big. Significant? Oh yeah. We got plenty of work. <laughs> That's good. Not running out of work anytime <laughs> soon. We got okay to insulate, which is amazing. Yeah. That can make a huge difference. And we basically had minor flood, not a flood, but we had some issues and we fixed it immediately, right? You, yeah. you, Brandon fixed it on the spot and then we retested the drain system. So there was an issue with one of the fittings in the plumbing and we were able, Brandon was able to get that all fixed up while Trent and the inspector walked around the rest of the garage. We retested and it passed. So the plumbing is good, the electrical is good, the HVAC is is good. There's a little bit more that Dean needs to do, but we knew that already. Yeah. It's just framing. <laughs> I personally am loving Trent's length of his hair right now. He does. He hasn't grown it this long in like I don't know, at least four or five years. But the problem is after wearing a hat or like a beanie all day, it's just, but I do love the length. You should not cut it yet. <laughs> I'm a mess over here. We've been working really hard to get to four way. And honestly, like I've said before, we did not expect to pass. We expected to have a punch list of things that we needed to do so that we could pass. 
But a handful of things did pass. There are some things that we still have to do. We've got to get some hurricane ties. We've got to change out the venting on the water heater. We've got to do some, some other... We have a long list. <laughs> we have a lot of things that we have to do. But now, for the next couple of weeks, we have a list of things that we're punching down. And he did say that we could insulate the walls of the two garages and the main garage. We just can't do anything upstairs because I have to contact our architect and structural engineer, have them redesign the framing plan upstairs uh, per what we did instead of per what was on the original plans, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but I understand why he wants it. So we're gonna do that. It's just gonna be probably like another month of stuff before we can call him back and then have him uh, check off on everything and then we can insulate the roof. And maybe by then we'll be able to get a spray foam truck up here to spray foam the roof. Cool. So, silver lining. Excellent. Well. Um, I don't know if you could tell by the mountain of snow behind Trent. Like, seriously. I, act, I am actually worried now. Because if you can see on camera, that's a sheet of ice that yeah. was on the roof. And it's slowly sliding down. And if the, if the sun heats that up, it could break in the middle. And then it could pivot and fall back into the window. That could break the window. So we need to reposition this somehow, this plywood. You'd have to crawl up into that ice cavern. It's a and there's zone. nothing to hold it. Like there's a yeah. gap between the house where everything just falls down. So then we need to take like picks and hack away at the overhanging part, you know? Yeah, I don't know what we need to do. Anyway, we have a ton of snow. So the fact that we have a punch list of things that we can feel very productive while we're working on is great because the snow is inhibiting basically all our other plans at the moment. <laughs> yeah, the snow over there from the back of the house is starting to like creep down this way and cover that window. Like pretty soon this room is going to be the ice, the, the igloo. Yeah, yeah. the igloo. Anyway, we had a bittersweet day. Yeah. Could have been better, could have been a lot worse. Yeah. We're happy with how it went. Yeah. We're taking it all with a grain of salt and we're very happy with where we are and we are just pushing forward, pushing ahead. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys, we love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.